Hey guys, Lima here. So just today, as I'm filming this video, I went to the coin shop once again to spend a day. And at the end of the day, I brought home a really cool coin. So in this video, I'm sharing this coin with you. Under the top coin right here, this 1920, is the coin that I got from the coin shop. And as you can see, it is a 1972 from Germany. It is 10 marks. It is 0 0.3095 actual silver weight. Let's take a look at the final coin itself. This coin has very, very nice color on it. So this is the 1972 commemorative. I'm not sure exactly if these are considered commemoratives or not, but in my opinion, this is a commemorative because it is commemorating the Olympics, 1972 Summer Olympics. And it has very nice eye appeal on the front. Now, I'm not sure if this was cleaned before or if that's artificial toning, but right here in the middle of that circle there in the, these flames, you can see some hairlines. Right there, you see those hairlines. So I don't know if that's a sign that it was cleaned or not. Let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. But I picked this up because I love the eye appeal, just the color itself and the coin itself. It's just very nice. There's not a lot of distracting marks. I think the most distracting mark is that right there, that little part that's not toned. And that part right there that's not toned. And the nice back, this reverse has like a nice purple toning. It's very light. And the front has a bunch of different colors, green and blue and red. It's a very nice color. This is a coin that I have considered sending in for grading just to see if it was cleaned. That's a really, really bad idea, and I definitely won't do it. But, like... The curiosity is just, is this clean? Is this artificial color? And if it was in a slab, it would definitely keep me more confident. But maybe if you guys have an answer in the comments, that'll keep me more confident as well. Sorry for the bad light. That's all I got at the coin shop this time. Sorry I can't get a lot. I know, videos are kind of boring, but what can I do? So I'm saving up my money right now for this really cool coin. Let me show it to you right now. So the coin I'm saving up my money for right now is this one right here. This is the Delaware Tercentenary. As you might know already, because in my Michael Kittle Rare Coins mail call, I showed basically that same exact coin, except the Swedish version. Let me show you that coin. The Red Book actually mentions the Swedish version, which I think is pretty cool. The anniversary was celebrated in 1938 in both Sweden and the United States. A two krona coin was issued in Sweden to commemorate the same event. And that's the same coin I got from Michael Kittle Rare Coins. So yeah, I hope that explains why I'm not getting as much at the coin shop. I'm saving up my money for that really big coin. And I hope that that video will be very awesome. Alright, so thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.